welcome to the pharma topics friends uh, today what i'm going to cover is the allergy reaction so what are the type of allergic reactions are there so mainly it is uh, divided in four parts uh, the type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 Here the type of immunoglobulin which is involved in allergic reaction is different. Uh, here for uh, type one, two, and three, immunoglobulins are involved. While uh, type four is a cell mediated, which is the late type of response. So here these three are the immediate responses, and the fourth one is the delayed type responses. So name of uh, this all four types of uh, allergic reactions are the that uh, first one is termed as the anaphylaxis. It is a very, very rapid response. Uh, within less than 30 minutes, you will see the signs and symptoms. And uh, second is the cytotoxic one. And each I am going to show in detail that uh, what happens uh, in this type. And generally, it takes five to twelve hours to show this response. And uh, next one is the immune complex. We have the complex formed. And then after it shows the response, and uh, it stays around uh, three to eight hours. While uh, the time period for the cell-mediated uh, response is not fixed, so it can occur any time. Um, after, but it's delay type, uh, somewhat uh, for 24 to 40 hours, 48 hours will be on. So now, what happens in these all responses? So first of all, anaphylaxis. Uh, here in in this response. Uh, Ig is formed. Ige is formed. Sorry, not a. It's a. Ige is formed, and this binds to the mast cells. And once it binds to the mast cells or basophils, it will for it will shows the degranulation of the granules. Once the degranulation means uh, simply the breakdown of the granule take place, it releases the histamine, and which shows the exaggerated response. The examples of the anaphylactic uh, reactions uh, generally this occurs uh, uh, by some drugs. Uh, your well-known example is the penicillin that shows anaphylactic shock. In case of penicillin, it is due to the fragments which are there of penicillin. The snake venoms also show anaphylactic shock, and generally allergic conditions uh, in by in which uh, anaphylactic shock is possible. It's a hay fever and asthma. So it is all about the anaphylaxis. Next is the cytotoxic type. In this case, so what happens that the formation of the antigen, antigen, due to some reason, uh, generally IgM and IgG is involved. This two binds to the target cell. As there in anaphylaxis, the degranulation takes place. Here doesn't happen. Doesn't the such type of things doesn't happen. But here what happens that uh, by binding of this target cell. And then after the recognition by the complement, and then complement and target this complex, it shows complete destruction of the cell. Cell means target cell. So it is the destruction of target cell. So it is termed as a cytotoxic one. The examples. Examples of uh, this is the in case of blood transfusion, it may occur. Now next is the immune complex. Uh, this immune complex. In this case, what happens that uh, antigen we all know, and in response to antigen, antibodies form. This antigen antibody they form the complex, and this form complex goes to the blood, the circulates in blood circulation, and once uh, this is there in circulation. It shows various responses like inflammation and all that, and this is termed as the immune complex as our type three type of allergic reaction. The example is uh, somewhat important to G by point of view that uh, abscess reaction. This is kind of uh, type three allergic reaction, and also the serum sickness, abscess reaction and serum sickness. The fourth one, as I told you, is the cell mediated response. Or delay type response, which is generally by T C. This is a T cells, which kills the target cell. And uh, the examples uh, which are quote, which can we can quote here. 
are the ones like uh, rejection of the rejection of the transplanted uh, any organ any transplanted organ or tissue some poisons like ED poison sometimes uh, in case of uh, chronic diseases like tuberculosis and leprosy this can happen these all are the immediate type you can see the time period 30 minutes 12 hours 3 to 8 hours and this one is the delayed type so this is all about the allergic reactions and types of allergic reaction which type of immunoglobulins are involved in it so for further videos please subscribe for more toppers and uh, thank you